To be prosperous is to be open to living life to its fullest. Living life to the fullest is about being flexible, open, spontaneous, and aligned with the natural rhythm of life. For eons of time, humanity has been taught to operate from a more fixed and rigid way of thinking and being, which led to the many limitations humanity created for itself. One of the main drivers to keeping these limitations intact is lack. Lack begins in the mind and is a coping mechanism that starts to show up in our world. When we are in lack, our attention is so focused on what we don't think we have that we close ourselves off completely from being available to the blessings life is gifting us daily. Today we will go through two foundations to help us transcend lack and rigidity so that we can open ourselves up to creating a full and prosperous life. We will also work with a simple action process to help us become more flexible and open to receiving all of life's blessings. The first foundation to transcending lack and becoming prosperous is to get super clear on what lack really is. Lack itself is a form of abundance. How? Lack is a cultivated mindset that has us choosing to abundantly focus in a direction of things that don't make us feel good instead of the direction of things that feel good. It's a type of affirmation loop we constantly reinforce to ourselves as a way of keeping ourselves safe and protected. Having this type of commitment for something is actually a gift. It means we have taught ourselves how to be highly developed in being organized, focused, and loyal to something. From this perspective, we can actually thank our experience of lack for teaching us how to be committed to something in this way. Then, we can take our highly developed ability to be committed to something and redirect the focus so that it reflects us doing things that make us feel good instead of things that make us feel bad. Because of our commitment to focusing on the things we don't have so abundantly that we thought we were lacking something, we can now realize that we have everything it takes to use that same commitment we've cultivated to help us create prosperity. From this space, we see that lack is a form of abundance because it trained and prepared us for something greater. So the next time you find yourself in a lack mindset, thank your mind for reminding you that with one simple shift in direction of focus, you have everything you need to become prosperous. So really, there is no such thing as lack because it is a form of abundance. The second foundation to transcending lack is to switch up your routine daily. Our mind likes structure and for things to stay the same. This gives it a sense of security and safety. However, this can also lead to the mind becoming fixed and rigid, which blocks us from being open and available to all of life's blessings. Switching up our routine daily allows our mind, body, and energy to remain flexible, open, and available to life and everything that it has to offer. When we are mentally open and flexible, we laugh more, we have more fun, we see the beauty in things, we are able to recognize all of the opportunities life is giving us to help us thrive and prosper. If you notice, a lot of times, the older people get, the less flexible they are. So our only job is to stay flexible and available because when we do, that's when we are open and available to the blessings life has to offer. The more flexible and in the flow we are, the more prosperity and abundance we will receive. So this feels like a great time for our action meditation process to help us move in the direction of greater prosperity. So I invite you to go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, 
And as you exhale, feel yourself relaxing into the moment. Let's take another deep breath in. And release. And one more. Breathing in. And release. So we're going to begin by you reflecting on something that makes you feel lack. It could be paying a bill, your bank account, a job, whatever it is, check in to see what is making you feel lack. Once you get clear on what that thing is, thank your mind for choosing lack as the first response to keeping you safe. That's all that lack is in this experience. It's the first response your mind goes to to keep itself safe. That feeling of lack. Where do you feel it in your body? Usually we feel lack in our stomach area. Some people feel it in their jaw, in their shoulders. Where do you feel that lack? When you get clear on where you're feeling that lack, I invite you to see this lack as a ball of silly putty or play-doh in your hands. Focus on what it would feel like right now, Play-Doh or Silly Putty in your hands. This Silly Putty or Play-Doh is the surrogate of your experience of lack. So once you get clear of that image of the Silly Putty or Play-Doh in your hands, go ahead and begin stretching, squeezing, and playing with this Silly Putty or Play-Doh. What would that feel like if you could just stretch it and squeeze it? What does that feel like when you can massage that Play-Doh and Silly Putty, just stretching it? And with every stretch and squeeze, you recognize that this Play-Doh, this Silly Putty, is becoming even more fun to play with. It starts to become more malleable. It becomes lighter, less fixed. Let's see that as the representation of your experience of lack. Let's just be with that for a moment. After doing this for a bit, let's thank this experience for reminding us how to be more flexible, that life isn't so rigid and it doesn't have to be so serious. And if you feel guided to, maybe you can buy some Play-Doh or some Silly Putty and just play with it whenever you're feeling a little bit of lack, a little bit of stress. So let's express gratitude to your mind for seeing this in your imagination, for your body, for using its sensations to feel this experience. We're so grateful. And from here, let's be open and available in our thoughts, in our actions, by being present and by recognizing the blessings we already have in our lives, like the fact that we can breathe, the fact that we can see and taste and touch and smell flowers and look at sunrises and hear music. Let's express deep gratitude that we can be open and available to all of life's blessings. And so it is. I invite you to watch this video and work with this process over the coming weeks to help anchor a deeper ability to let go of lack and to embrace the flexibility that comes with prosperity. And if this helped you in any way, 
Please feel free to share this video with your friends and soul tribe. I am so, so grateful for you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me in this way. Until next time, have a miraculous day. Hey, my friend, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a miraculous day.